Hey everyone, Shraddha here. So today I'm going to cover the same topic that is LinkedIn verification, but we'll be covering a few comments. So first comment is once the LinkedIn ID is verified, it never bans the ID. See, it does not ban. Like LinkedIn is not something that will be banning your account for small reasons. It's like it is not like Quora. So on Quora, if you are writing something, if it is not in right tone, if it is um, directly copied and like pasted for from some other's content, then they will be firstly they will be detaining you. Like they will be uh, say blocking or banning a few of your uh, activities on Quora. If I talk about uh, maybe you won't be able to write answers, you won't be able to upvote uh, others answers or you won't be able to comment there so linkedin is not like this so quora is as it's uh, an answer question on the platform is it's a question on the platform so quora uh, moderation team um, like used to take care of very small things also so if i am making any grammatical mistake they'll take my answer down after a few uh, days or after a few weeks but on LinkedIn, uh, I can write uh, like I can write on any topic. I can like it should be it should not be um, that topic should be like good. It should not be sensitive or it should not uh, like I don't want to use any words like that. So it should not um, say it should not something that is going opposite to Quora terms and po sorry LinkedIn terms and policies. The only reason why LinkedIn will be banning your account if you are using some words that you should not use there. Maybe you can, I can say abusive language or you are like you are misusing LinkedIn. Maybe suppose I am creating any fake account there. Okay. Uh, so my name, I am not using my name. I am not using my detail. I am just creating it maybe for a lot of social media persons who are in digital marketing i have seen a lot of people who just just to gain some likes on their post on their company's post so that they can get good incentive what they does is like what they do is they used to create some accounts so for those account once they will create maybe it can work for a few days i i don't have any idea but i'm very much sure that within a few months linkedin will be taking it down because on linkedin they are very much say serious about uh, the type of accounts that you are creating the type of content that you are posting it is fine completely fine even you can copy my complete video my complete content caption everything and linkedin won't affect like linkedin won't do anything for your post it won't take it down just like quora or any other platform so you are safe but when it comes to creating any fake account or something that um, like many times you must have seen that uh, like there are people who used to talk about politics PJP Congress this in, in like community basis or community based talks also are there so they used to just create accounts just talk on, on, on like on these topics and to spread negative negativity so for these kind of posts LinkedIn will be if if somebody is reporting maybe five to ten people are reporting these kind of uh, accounts then LinkedIn will be uh, like uh, investigating thoroughly and if it is something like this that they will be they can ask for maybe their person's official ID or government ID and if it does not work well then they'll take it down so uh, like previously it was happening it was all happening and nowadays what they have done they have just set it you uh, for us there is option we can verify our account and then we are done for this what we need to do we can either do it from our workplace id or maybe from our government id so suppose if okay let me i don't want to open the list of my connections or followers on linkedin that's not good i'm i've just taken a few photos from internet so you can see it here okay you can read verifications government id okay and he has uh, tried to like do it through both verifications work email so it's like an example of how to do it so uh, like you can use both like work gmails or uh, government id now once you will be done will with this this process once you will be submitting it then so actually what the thing was uh, i i remember previously there was an option to upload your government id once done you are good to go but nowadays they, ha they have added one option of digi locker 
and digi locker is something uh, you can only use through your phone if you want to verify your, your um, like linkedin account but if you you have a workplace or you have a workplace email address then you can do it from your laptop too okay okay here once it is ex accepted from uh, linkedin then you can see it like this it will be it will be uh, showing like this you can see a black tick right just after web webber uh, Connor Weber, right? So after Weber, there is a black tick that is his ID has been verified, and whatever documents or whatever email ID something he has uploaded or inserted, so it 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 worked well. Okay, so it's like this. Now I can see this person, and if it is a it's a uh, sorry black tick, then I can understand that this name is real and a few of his details uh, are real it's not like he has used any random um, like uh, random say name or he is not he is not in the field where he's working and like whatever details he will be inserting it's all correct so we can trust these kind of ids even if you are going to do some big project or you want you want like if when it comes to physical meets meetings offline meeting on site so there is a always a fear that whether we need to go to the, like that person for job or anything so whether we should meet or not so if that person is genuine you can see one uh, blue. like it's a kind of say uh, linkedin is helping us to understand others person better so if that person is fake obviously he will be using or she will be using uh, wrong names without any verification or something now if we we need to be so much wise uh, in order to approach or in order to like say uh, understand the level of help or level of um, connection that we want to make with others so when you are going forward to make some uh, say serious connection if i talk about work workplace if you are connect, uh, contacting to somebody talking about some job opportunities and that person is talking uh, like saying that you can come here meet and interview and all this then you can think that when the account is verified then it finds good to go i'm just giving you one example okay don't take it like in any other way so um like there are a lot of ways if i talk about instagram also see on instagram i don't think paying money and then getting a blue tick verified tick is something that is going to make a person genuine or that person is real even i can i can create a fake account and from there also i can get uh, say instagram like blue tick right and i can do uh, no i i don't want to do it. like somebody can do anything negative also but on linkedin it's not like we can pay something then we can get this like tick yeah they have their premium policies and everything that we if we want we are willing to pay we can do this but again there is a blue badge there like they came up with golden badges also that is going to expire soon uh, sorry they are going to discontinue those golden badges soon so for blue badges we need not to pay anything right we just need to do well in that field in that particular niche and i have seen a lot of people have got it um, like i think they have got it randomly maybe they are posting something their post went viral so a few years back they have got it um, but when they'll go through their like account so it's like it's like i am just trying to say that not not like instagram or twitter linkedin is different there we need to we need not to pay for blue badge or we need not to pay for verification so if we are doing it it's it is showing like our account is genuine we are real somebody can trust on us they can they can ask our services they can make some advance payment so it's like this okay so take it in this manner now coming back to questions okay now this question is done once the linkedin id is verified it never bans the id okay i i have already told you that uh, if you are doing uh, something uh, like against their terms and conditions say negative comment or say like uh, say fighting or like communicating in negative manner on some community or religion kind of thing or you are using some abusive language and your account has got has like has been re reported um, through a lot of people say five to ten people then there is there are chances that they, that they will ban your account and uh, i had uh i have a contact so his account got banned i think few years one year back he tried to get in touch with linkedin uh, linkedin team 
and uh, i think after 6 to 7 years 6 to 7 months months of uh, continuous contacting them then getting in touch with them like sending mails and everything it was like first at first they said that uh, we won't be able to uh, like uh, uh, we won't help you to get it, get back your account but at the end of i think 6 to 7 months he got his account back so it's like the level of mistake that you have done there if if it's just minor mistake then you can write a mail it's not like um, if you are not at all able to log in your account is banned you won't be able to get it you can try to get your account but make sure you are not at all going to uh, like you are not going to repeat the mistake again okay okay i'll cover all the comments okay i have covered two two questions here first is once the linkedin id is verified it never bans the id and then second is what is the use of doing this and does it get access to our personal information digi locker and yes it get access to our personal information digi locker because whatever uh, data is there uh, if i talk about your aadhar card so your aadhar card will be having your address your like all personal details related to you that you have uploaded on digi locker so linkedin will be having that access so yeah even if you are asking for see it's not an option that uh, verify your account through your aadhar card or through your pan card through your driving license or through your uh, like passport it's, it's the option is not like this the option is verify your account through digi locker right okay okay let's let's go for it okay so the option is verify your account through digi locker here you can see this here you can see this verify your account with digi locker so obviously whatever content will be there sorry whatever data or whatever um documents will be there on digi locker they will be having access to that so yeah just wanted to cover a few questions will be covering all the comments that are there i i remember everything so we'll be covering one by one So yeah, just wanted to talk about this. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share, and if you want me to comment on any topic, just let me know. I will be covering that topic too. Stay tuned. Bye and take care.